Today, I want to share something amazing that I've read in a book that I feel is one of the most underrated self-help books out there. I think not only is this book underrated, but all the books of this author are extremely either underrated or just not as popular as they should be. And this book is called How to Get What You Want, and it's by Orison Sweat Martin. And really, he has a lot of books, and I have another set of books from him. And it's called the Orison Sweat Martin Seven Books on Prosperity, Success, and Achievement. And I want to read a few lines of what he writes in How to, How to Get What You Want, which really, really resonated with me. And he writes the following. He says, one of the most difficult things in the world is to get people to realize the extent of their latent powers, to believe in their own bigness, in their own possibilities. And that struck a chord with me because he's telling you, what is the hardest thing in the world to do? Is it to build the pyramids in Egypt? Is it to build a skyscraper by today's terms? Is it to make a million dollars or a billion dollars? He's saying that one of the most difficult things to do is to make someone else realize their own greatness, believe in themselves when they just don't. And in another book, he writes this, a similar concept, but he, he words it a little differently. He says, one of the most difficult things in the world is to get people to realize the extent of their own powers, to believe in their own bigness, or what we would use the word greatness. And just take, take a second to think about that. You have a person who doesn't believe in themselves. They just don't see anything great about themselves. They were never told. They never realized anything amazing about themselves. They have a very low self-esteem, self-image, self-confidence. They just don't believe in themselves. Go try to make that person believe in their own powers that they don't even know about. Try to get that person to believe they could be great. They could be a giant. They could be whatever it is, successful to the proportions they could never even fathom. Go try to sell them that. That's a very difficult thing. Think about ourselves. Do we even believe in ourselves to the extent that we should? That's a very difficult task. I mean, I walk around and I see so many people and you say, wow, if this person only believed in themselves more, how much more successful would they be? They don't lack brains. They don't lack, you know, they don't lack talent. They don't lack potential. They just lack belief in themselves. And to try to make someone believe in their secret sleeping powers that are within them is one of the most hardest things to do. So I, th I just found that eye-opening. And when you look at his book, he has another book, um, Success Fundamentals. He, he writes on this topic. And there are just a few lines that I wanted to share here that really touched me. And I think that, you know, would really, really benefit everyone from hearing. He says like this, he says, very few people ever make exploring voyages within themselves. And they carry with them to their graves, undiscovered continents of ability. I love his choices of words, right? People don't explore, they don't take a voyage within themselves. And they'll take to their graves continents, right? Think about how big a continent is, right? It's just a beautiful way to express something so great. Continents of ability. The majority, the great majority die without developing their possi possible efficiency of hand or tongue or of brain. Without developing any of the special gifts locked up in the great within of themselves. And this is something that Orson Sweat Martin says a lot. He writes a lot about this thing called the great within. And I've never seen it, you know, that term used in a different place. Uh, it could be that he made up this term or he just coined this phrase, this, this, this concept. And it's called, he calls it the great within. 
And when I read it the first time, it just, it hit me because I write, that's what I do most of the day. And I just have a fascination with the ability to express yourself and articulate, especially in writing. And to be able to take three words and to draw such a profound picture, the great within, what does that tell you? What is that? What picture does that draw to you? Do you believe that within you there's a great within? There's a greatness that's within you? The great within is just such a beautiful way to show someone that what's within them is great. There's greatness inside you. How many people walk around the world with a feeling, a real pulsating feeling that they have greatness within them? That something great is inside here. Most people feel hollow. Most people are walking around sad, depressed, without self-esteem, without self-confidence, without self-belief. They feel that there's a hollow within. Nothing is there. And just his words, the great within, it just, we should really, really just think about those words that within us, whether we see it or not now, there is greatness. And that's what he's saying, that very few people take those voyages to the great within to see what's there. Most of us die with the great secret, with the sealed message which the Creator put in our hands at birth, still unread, because we have never learned how to open or how to read it. And that just draws such a picture that just really, really touched me, that the Creator put all of us here for a reason. And everyone is unique. There'll never be another you. There never was. And there, there isn't now. And it's like as if God wrote a specific letter to each and every one of his children, to each and every one of us. And in that letter, there's a mission. There's a statement. There's a story that should be told. And it should guide us to live a fulfilling life, to live a life of greatness each one to his own, what greatness means and what he should be doing here. And that message, that letter is inside of us. But most people never explore what goes on here. They're looking outside. What kind of house does this person have? How much money does that person make? What is that person doing? What does that person say? Do I care about you know that person's opinion? Yes, it's so important to me what that person thinks of me. So people are so busy with the without the, the thing that's outside of them, that they rarely ever take a minute to look and to make a voyage, to explore what's inside here. But if you want to live a meaningful life, it's never going to come by looking outside. It always comes from looking inside. To take that voyage, that exploration to the great within. There are people who have explored, they've gone to see and, you know, went to the North Pole, they wanted to see what's there. You know, back in the day, people went to, to, on voyages to explore unknown land. And we have to realize that there's a lot of unknown land. There's a lot of unknown parts to us that we've never tapped into, we've never found, we've never uncovered. There's virgin soil that's never been stepped on, never even been looked at, forget stepped on, that's within us. And then we wonder, why aren't we successful? What's wrong with us? Why, you know, like why are we so deficient in so many things? And the real reason is because we've never took that voyage. We've never went on a, on a hike, on a journey inside here to find out what's there. There is a great within in all of us. There is a letter that was written to all of us that we and only we can go and open that letter and read it. But the letter is inside here and we keep looking outside. We get distracted what's outside, and that's why we never pay attention and read the letter. And it's just so sad to think about most people living this world, in this world, for 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 years, and they've never opened the letter that's within them that would guide them to live the life that they should be living, to becoming the person that they should and go try to tell this person that you have greatness within you. You don't know what powers are sleeping inside of you. You have latent abilities and powers that are just hibernating within you. 
waiting to be discovered by you because only you could take that voyage. Only you could see what's inside here because that's you. And today, I just, I just had this thought that the biggest gift you could give yourself is you. You are that gift. It's not money. It's not a house. It's not a new car. When you're sitting and thinking to yourself, what could I just shower myself with? What could I give myself? What could I gift myself with, right? The answer is you. When you take that voyage and find out what's inside, the beautiful parts within you that you have no idea, those capabilities, those things that are sleeping inside of there, they're waiting to be discovered. The more you take that voyage, the more you become attuned and tapped into your true self. And the more you can be better and be more successful and be great and do more things in this world and lead a fulfilling life. So when you wanna ask yourself, what could I do for myself today? Some people say, yeah, you know what? I can go get a massage. I can spoil myself. I can go you know, do something or buy me something in the mall or, or wherever. But what about the ultimate gift of yourself, of being you? So that's really the best thing you could gift yourself with, but it only starts when you take that voyage. And yeah, you know what? Sometimes you go on a hike and there's thorns, there's different things that you're gonna have to overcome, there's obstacles, there's ups and downs, but it's all worth it because when you get up to that mountain and you see the beautiful view, the, the journey there was beautiful. So yeah, I'm sure there are some dark parts within here that we have to go and uncover and deal with, but at the end of the day, that shouldn't shy us away from taking that journey inside and realizing there's such greatness inside here that's sleeping and we just gotta wake it up. We just gotta tap into it and it'll awaken. And then we'll realize, where was I till now? Where was I? I was sleeping through life. I was in hibernation mode. I should have woken up so much earlier. So we can't take back time, but we could take today and say, today I'm gonna gift, my, I'm gonna gift myself with the present of me. I'm gonna get more tuned to who I really am. I'm gonna discover myself more. I'm gonna travel within here more and realize what's sleeping inside of here. I'm curious to know what's here. We're reading biographies about Elon Musk. We're reading biographies about Thomas Edison, about different leaders of the past and successful people. But we've never opened the book that's inside here and wrote the story that should be written. We have that ability. We have that opportunity that we're fumbling. And guess what? When we fumble us, when we fumble ourselves, then we fumble our entire life. And we fumble the world because maybe we should have done something important for this world. And that's my message to you. Give yourself the gift of you. If you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it if you subscribe so we can continue growing together and just elevate ourselves together, together. I don't wanna just read these books and keep this knowledge to myself. Most of the people out there, they don't even know these books exist. They've never heard of these authors. And these books are also just like unre unread books with such knowledge, such wisdom that I feel a duty, I feel a responsibility to not keep it to myself, to, to share it with others. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope we can continue growing together.